Hi everyone! Okay, so as I said, I was going to do a, a bi-monthly empties and I've put them all in the Cosmopolitan bag again. So today actually it is quite filled um, because I've used up quite a lot of products over the last two months. So I'm just going to go in and take out whatever is on top first, I guess. So the first is the Schwarzkopf um, Liskur Hair Repair Shampoo. Um, I'm still using up the conditioner, which, you know, like I hate when I can't use up them both at the same time. But I really like this. This has like a kind of like a chocolatey scent though. Um, which is quite pleasant. I really like this product, um, Liquid Keratin, um, it contains, so that's really good for your hair if you have um, slightly damaged hair. And I really like this. Uh, I might repurchase this, I might not, I'm not sure yet. The next is the L'Oreal El Vive um, Arginine Resist Times 3. This is just a spray for in your hair um, to like um, make your hair stronger. Um, if your hair, like if you have, um, like your if your hair tends to, like, fall out and stuff. So I really like this product. Um, I'm currently using my second bottle. So if that one runs out, I will definitely repurchase this. The next is the Himalaya Herbals Purifying Neem Foaming Face Wash, and this was in my May glossy box. No, June glossy box, I think. And I really enjoyed this product and um, I really like if you just pump it out, it foams up um, real nicely. It, it's just a nice daily face wash um, to use. It's normal to oily skin so it is a little bit drying on your skin. If you have dry skin, I wouldn't recommend using this. But um, yeah, I'm currently using um, the Philosophy uh, face wash so if that runs out, I don't... I really like the philosophy but I don't know if I would repurchase this. This one is much cheaper than the philosophy. I think this one retails for like 5 euros or something like that. Then the next is the, um, it's a drugstore all-in-one no rub, um, like liquid um, for your contacts. Um, I've, I, I go through these um, every other month so. That's that one. Next is the Dove Body Milk Essential Nourishment um, Body Lotion. Um, I really like Dove Body products. Um, I usually always use Dove um, Body Lotion, um, except for now I'm using um, Say Yes to Carrots. But I really like this. I would definitely repurchase this over and over again. Um, I think this is like, I have no clue how many bottles I've been going through this body this type of body lotion from Dove um, so yeah that's definitely a really good repurchase if anything does run out um, the next is the John Frieda full repair deep conditioning hair mask um, I really like this actually it it just it smells quite like hairdresser ish um, but yeah, I really like this. It, it's like I like the packaging as well. Um, it doesn't leave my hair oily or anything. Um, it's it's really nice. Like my hair feels very nice and soft after I've used this. So it's definitely a um, have to try if you've not tried this one out yet. I have another um, bottle of this actually. I have another one of these so I don't have to repurchase I already have one <laughs> so okay and then more um, this is the Knipe shower gel and this is in passion fruit um, it says it will give you a like happy mood um, yeah I don't know why it says that but it smells nice that's like passion fruit it kind of reminds me of like those um, fruit drinks um, would I repurchase this? Probably not. I mean, I don't really go for, like, sh fruity shower gels. I'm not too keen on fruity scents, um, like, too fruit, like, literal fruity, um, scents, so 
this is an okay um, if you do like fruity scents I would definitely recommend trying this one out um, yeah okay so I have like tons of these like little minis that I've been trying out there's a Tony and Guy which I'm not a big fan of because this one really leaves my hair oily and it's shampoo for damaged hair so if you do have damaged hair I would definitely recommend this but if you don't um, I wouldn't because it it, it kind of leaves your hair a little bit more oily the next is the number four uh, Lumiere de, de Ver clarifying shampoo um, I love the scent of this this kind of has like that fancy perfumey scent um, I do really enjoy this as a shampoo. I do think it is a bit overpriced though. I can't remember the exact price of this. This is obviously a mini that I received in, I think it was a Truly Yours box. But I wouldn't buy the full size. It's too expensive. I don't, I don't want to like spend that much money on a shampoo. The next is the Dove Go Fresh um, Beauty Care Shower. And this was in Nectarine and White Ginger Fragrance. It will, it's a, it's okay. Like I, I love Dove products, so I have tried out um, Dove shower gels before, uh, but I've never tried the Go Fresh line. So this was a nice um, surprise, but nothing special. Um, another Dove product here, and this is the Hair Therapy Nourishing Oil Care Shampoo. I did not like this at all. Um, this really left my hair oily um, because you can obviously tell there is oils in here and if you have dry hair or damaged hair I would definitely recommend trying this but if you have like just normal normal or um, like oily hair I wouldn't recommend this this is like your hair, like hair will become a grease ball um, so another shampoo it's the Swatch Cup um, Bonacure Hair Therapy. Um, it's the Sun Protect Hair and Body Shampoo. Um, I did not care for this. It's like I had to finish this up, um, which is why I just like try to finish up products like that. Next is an Evian Facial Spray. I love these sprays. Um, there was not that much in it, so I decided to just finish it up. Even in the winter, I know. Um, I didn't want to keep it for too long. The next is a Sanctuary Spa um, in Covent Garden um, body butter and I love this. This smells so nice like I can't describe, describe the scent but it's super nice. If you can find this um, brand I would definitely recommend. I know you can get this in the UK but I don't know if you can get it anywhere else. But um, in the UK you can get it at Boots because I've seen it at Boots before and this is just amazing. I love this. Um, more. The next is the Batiste Dry Shampoo Original and this is just a little um, travel size. I love Batiste Dry Shampoo um, So and I was, also, I was also happy that I could use this little one up because I have more of them. Um, but yeah, it's a really nice dry shampoo, so I would definitely recommend it. Um, next is the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette Shine Shock. I really like this. Um, I love using this Shine Shock because it really does give your hair a nice shine and it's also nicely scented. Um, it's a typical John Frieda product scent, so it's really nice. Um, I love this. And there's more. Um, the next is the L'Oreal Paris Dermo Expertise Triple Active Day Moisturizer for the face. And um, yeah, it's a, an okay moisturizer. I wouldn't like, I don't love it. Uh, I don't hate it, but it's an okay moisturizer. Um, I have another one of these, so uh, I kind of bought them like both at the same time because it was buy one get one free and I kind of regret buying this um, this version instead of the other one because um, I've used the other one and I kind of like that one but I tried I decided to try out this one instead so and then I also used up um, 
makeup wipes from a drugstore, um, cotton pads from a drugstore. Ooh. Um, this is the okay, Le Couvain de Mimiens, um hand cream that I've used up. I don't really care for this one. I was so glad I could use this one up. It it is really nice moisturizing for your hands, but the scent is it's too herbal garden-ish for me. So I Okay, so next is the Avita Smooth Infusion Conditioner and I got two uses out of this. Um it's an okay conditioner. It's not it's not anything special. Um but yeah. Um next is the BioSilk hair um yeah, silk therapy for your hair, so it's like a hair serum. Um, it's really nice. Um, I would definitely recommend this. I have another small one of this one, I think, somewhere. Um, it's really nice. I would definitely recommend um, using that. The next is the Waleda C Buckthorn Body Oil, and this is the sample size. Um, you know that I hate the C Buckthorn um, scent, but this one is actually not too bad. So I did use this up and it's pretty nice, um, nothing really moisturizing or anything but it's a nice just oil to use. The next is the Essence Pure Skin Purifying Nose Strips. Um, this one once again, um, nothing special, I didn't really like these too much, I didn't feel like they did anything so this was kind of a waste of money. Um, more like all the small samples that I've used up like this hair mask from Go is really nice I would definitely recommend this one it, ha it contains Manoi oil and then I have more this was like a an elixir of number four this was a Sisley shower gel um, a L'Oreal um, Revital Lift cream, a shishado um, anti-aging cream which I really liked um, so yeah if I ever need some anti-aging cream I'll probably go for this one um, the um, L'Oreal Youth Code which I hated um, this Biotherm um, cleansing milk which was meh the blemish mud uh, mask, which I really liked. The Angel Cherry Mugler um, body lotion, which was quite nice. It's it's very scented though. Um, here's a conditioner from Number Four, a Clarins um, night cream sample, and that was it. So um, overall, I think I did pretty well like I've been trying to use a lot of these products up and I'm pretty happy that I did manage to use all of these products up so let me know what you think and um, yeah thumbs up if you want to see more of these types of videos and thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys in my next video bye guys